In another video, I showed how to document a family table using a 2D repeat region. In this video, I'm going to show you an alternate technique for handling assembly family tables. So here I have an armature assembly open. If you take a look down at the bottom of the graphics area, it tells you that I have the generic of a family table open. And if I go to the family table command, in the ribbon, you can see that this particular family table has four instances, and I've got my 907851, and it uses one version of a shaft component. We have a right-handed version. I'm not going to document that in the drawing. And a couple other instances with different shafts in there. And the rest of the components for the 851, 852, and 853 are pretty much the same. So let's say that I wanted to have a bill of materials on a drawing for doing this. Let's close out of the family table dialog box. And I'm going to hop over to a drawing that I had started. And so far, this drawing has a bill of materials created using standard methods. In another video, I showed how to create a second repeat region for your bulk items. And now we'll take a look at how we can have this table also report quantities for the 907852 and 907853 instances. So I'm going to click on the table tab and go to switch symbols. And right now in my table, we don't have any report parameters in the cells for the other two instances. So if I double click in here, I can also put report quantity and double click again, report and quantity. And let's switch symbols back. And so now you'll notice that the table, all three columns are still the same because it is still reporting the quantities for the 907851 instance. In order to get them to report the quantities for different instances for the family table or even different models entirely, they don't have to be instances of a family table, you will go to repeat region and then column model rep let me make this a little wider so you can see it column model rep that's how you can change what's reported in a particular column in a family in a drawing table and now it's prompted me in the message area to pick a cell that contains rpt quantity and so i will pick this cell here and let me go to find my armature assembly and this is the generic that I selected there and now I will select the 852 instance and then click open and it's giving me a warning hey the bomb balloons and model dependent region items will be lost please confirm so that's one limitation to note about when you have different models for different columns in a table for a bill of materials bomb balloons are not supported so that's the first thing there's a second warning i'm going to give but we'll do that in a moment let me click confirm over here and you'll notice that now we have some changes that were made over here so for example we have uh, blank cells for the 907851 armature assembly, but here we have the 907852 has a one. We have a different value for the shaft tube in here. So we had some adjustments that were made. You can see that we have some blank cells for the 907851 for certain components that aren't in that particular instance. Let's do that one more time for the other column. Let me do column model rep and Pick a cell that contains RPT quantity. Let me go back to in session and find that family table, which I know has armature in the name. And let's open that. Since it's a family table, again, I'm prompted to select which instance. And for this particular column, I'm going to select the 907853 instance, then click open. And again, it's warning me, hey, you know, it doesn't support bomb balloons or model dependent region items. Let's click confirm again. 
and then done return. And again, you'll notice that the table is adjusted because now this particular assembly has the nine, or excuse me, the 876094 shaft tube and the 907853 armature assembly. Uh, it's reporting the top levels of the models in there as well. I can filter those out. But again, that's how we can have the different quantities in here. And the other thing to note about this is that here I have my bulk items, and these bulk items are pulling a different parameter. The column model rep is only used for the RPT quantity report parameters. It can't support any other report parameters. So if I wanted to, what I could do is probably just report the same values as the 8075 or excuse me, 907851 uh, instance because they'll all be as required. So for example, I could switch symbols in here and then double click in the cell and put ASM member user defined and the report symbol is QTY and just repeat that for the other cell. Put in ASM member user defined and QTY and we switch symbols back and now it's reporting as required in all the different cells here but again this is a little deceptive because this as required really pertains just to the 907851 instance but it gets the job done i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindchill.com if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.